what is up you guys welcome back to another video i know it's been quite a minute since i made a video but i got put on orders so i've been gone for a little while and unfortunately i'll be gone again for the rest of this month and then i'll probably be gone again in october for uh blc so you're just gonna have to bear with me but i just want to make a quick video because the thing that we started this whole channel off with, the jet ski, had to get rid of it. Uh, we weren't using it very often, and so I put it up for trade or sale, and I got some pretty cool offers. But there's one thing that stood out to me, and I just couldn't pass up on it. It does have some things wrong with it. And no, it's not a car or a truck. So, if you guys want to see it. You ready? All right. So there it is. Uh, a guy wanted to trade this pretty freaking nice four-wheeler for the $1,200 jet ski. It is a Suzuki King Quad 450. And I don't know if you can really see this guy super nice wheels and tires on it it's got a two inch lift uh it's got some i thought was pretty cool some rock lights pretty nice i mean i i was very shocked uh, at the fact that the guy wanted to trade for that jet ski it's snorkeled so i obviously know that it's probably been through some water but as far as running it runs great uh, it does need new rear axles and all fluid changes. So I ordered that already. So in the next couple days, I will be extending onto this video right here of me putting in the axles and doing the fluid change. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of something. It is fuel injected with a fuel enrichener. So on my cold mornings, just flip that little lever, add some more fuel and you're good to go. But yeah, it runs super strong and I'll definitely be making some content with this. Probably do some bogging. Now that I got something, the neighbor's got a pretty nice buggy and a pretty nice four-wheeler so I'll probably be doing that here shortly but I just wanted to but yeah I just definitely wanted to give you guys a heads up on that because I'm honestly pretty excited and it is getting super dark I actually just got off orders today so I actually had time to make this little short video but gotta go back in a week and then another month so like I said so just bear with us well bear with me anyway I know Duncan's been putting out a little bit of stuff but um I guess in the next couple of days you'll be seeing me doing a video on putting in those axles so I'll see y'all then so it is a few days later and you can already tell by my sweating it's hot out here but we found some shade right up up against this house so it shouldn't be too bad but all well, most of my stuff came in the stuff that i need the axles the fluid the oil it has a wet brake system so i got some wet brake gear oil so we're gonna be putting that in i'm gonna have to do a quick walk around real quick for you guys that way you can see the daylight I messed up so I accidentally ordered the front axles instead of the rear so yeah that's gonna mess me up a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna return those 
order the right ones, uh, which will be probably like Tuesday at the earliest that they would come in. So I'm still gonna go ahead and just, well, I guess I really can't do anything. All right, well, I guess I'll catch you on Tuesday. What is up guys? So today is Sunday and yes, it is completely dark out and I know it's not ideal for me to be making this video, but they came in three days early. So I ordered them on Friday, the new axles. I ordered them on Friday afternoon. They said they were going to be here on Wednesday and then today they show up. And this week is kind of hectic a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to try to push through uh, tonight and get these in. It shouldn't be that hard. So hopefully I can get some good-ish footage for you guys. So I do apologize for it being dark, but we're going to knock this out. And then hopefully that'll leave me maybe a day this week where I can take this out on the property and maybe go through some mud, go through some of the trails and just show you guys how it works. Well, that it works, you know, that I hopefully got a good deal out of it. I haven't really ridden it much except for up and down my back road here and the axles were popping. So I said, I didn't, I didn't want to ride it too much, but let's go ahead and replace these real quick. And then hopefully the next video I do will be us riding it. So I already took off the tire. Uh, because it's dark. I mean, I'm sure everyone knows how to take off a tire. But, um, so take off the tire and then we're going to take off this axle bolt. And then this whole hub should pull out. And then you got our uh, top and lower control arms. These bolt here, this bolt here pops out and then the whole assembly should come out. And I should be able to just pull the axle straight out. And same thing with the other side. I'm only going to show you one side because, like I said, it's dark. And I'm just trying to get it done. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get to it. And hopefully, we don't run into any complications. So, let's go. <laughs> Welcome back guys, it is the next day. So unfortunately, as you probably already saw, I didn't get all of it filmed. I actually lost some of my footage. So really you kind of just got to miss the boring part of me putting it back together. Uh, but for the most part, it's not really a how-to, it's just documenting that, hey, I did it. So I'm about to hop on. Uh, the wife is gonna video me real quick, running up and down the road showing you that it works everything's good i'm gonna have to do uh cleaning on the clutch or just completely replace it and we'll see it doesn't have as much power as it's supposed to so i just don't think it's getting through because uh, the engine is strong uh, but we're going to be doing the clutch and then i've got some new hand grips i'm going to put on new spark plugs and i've already said i'm going to read or uh replace the oil in the front diff and also the engine oil so we'll do that as well but that's going to be in the next video so i'm about to do the up and down the road real quick and uh, so you guys can see what that it works i guess i'm gonna go down the road
Anyway, guys, hope you guys liked that video. It wasn't too bad. So sorry that it was kind of sporadic, you know, me ordering the wrong part and then me doing it in the middle of the night, all that. But I just had to get something out there for you guys. Uh, so just bear with me. Uh, hopefully uh, here soon, whenever I get done with all my military stuff, I can go full force into it. I know I keep saying that, but you know, when you're in, in the military, whatever they say kind of just goes. So if they put you on orders, you just gotta go. Don't have to give you much warning at all. So like I say, it, just, it is what it is, but we've got some, I, I'm not gonna say, I'm just not gonna say anything. Just gonna have to wait and see because I'm gonna tell you a time frame, and then I'm not gonna meet it. And then I'm gonna have to go out and apologize to you guys. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, not say anything, but Hope you guys have a great afternoon and I'll see you in the next one.